Hey hey, so this video is all about what to do if you're trying to work out the moles of something in a solution. Um, this is otherwise known as concentration um, and we'll be going through how to calculate it as well as what it means in this video. So what I've got for you first is three different solutions of this lovely blue copper sulphate. What we normally do when it comes to working out moles is we take the mass of the substance and we use that to give us the number of moles that are in it. But because all of these are liquids, if I were to weigh all of them, because they contain roughly the same volume of liquid, they would weigh roughly the same. Now hopefully, by looking at them, you can see that clearly the one on the right has more copper sulphate in it, it's more blue than the one on the left. But weighing it isn't going to tell me that because the water that it's mixed with also weighs something. So we have to treat this in a different way. With solids, we use their mass to tell us about the moles that they contain. With solutions, we use their concentrations to give us this information. But first, you have to be able to work out the concentration of a solution that you have. So this is the way that we work out the concentration. The concentration of any solution equals the moles of the solid that you dissolved originally. So normally, the way that we make a solution is we take a solid and we dissolve it up in some liquid and overall you get your solution as a result. So you take the moles of that solid that you dissolved and you divide it by the total volume of the solution that you've made. Now the key part here is that you need to be really careful on the units because the moles of solid is in moles but the total volume of solution you need to do in decimeters cubed, kind of like we did with the gases. So remember that one decimeter cubed equals a thousand centimeters cubed. That means that your units of concentration is moles per decimeters cubed. So how many moles of the solid are there per decimeter cubed of liquid that it's now made? Let's go back to our copper sulfate samples. The one on the right, the most concentrated of my three samples, is actually 1.0 moles per decimeter cubed of concentration. Now what this means is that I must have dissolved one mole of copper sulfate in one decimeter cubed of the solution. So, the way that I can work out what I've used to make that is by working out how much one mole of copper sulfate will weigh. So to do that, you work out its molar mass, which is 160 grams per mole if you add up all the numbers on the periodic table. So, what that means is I've taken 160 grams of copper sulfate, or one mole of copper sulfate, I've put it into a flask and I've dissolved it to make a solution of one decimeters cubed overall. Cool. The second one, the middle one, is only 0.5 moles per decimeter cubed. So what that means is it means it's half as concentrated. So that means that now I only need half the mass of copper sulfate in the same volume. So now, instead of one mole of copper sulfate, which weighs 160 grams, I now need half a mole of copper sulfate. So half a mole of your copper sulfate weighs 80 grams. If I dissolve that up to one decimeters cubed, I've got my half a mole, half mole per decimeter cubed solution of copper sulfate. The last one, the one on the left, you can definitely have a go at yourself. So this one was actually only 0.1 moles per decimeter cubed. So what mass of copper sulfate do I need in this scenario? The answer is 16 grams. So I only need a tenth of a mole of the mass so what that means is I need 16 grams rather than the 160 I had at the beginning. Again, filling it to one decimeter cubed to make my 0.1 moles per dm cubed solution overall. 
Right, that's all for this video about how to determine concentrations. If you care more about how to apply these in titration calculations, then check out the next video which will go into detail about how to do that.